So that's the problem that they could put in your house. So if you don't want any problem, if you don't like... What is going on guys? This is Arthur Bautista, top realtor here in Central Florida with EXP Realty. Today I'm gonna talk about some pro and cons having an HOA. If you're planning to move here in Florida, especially or particularly here in Central Florida with a good communities, expect that you have to get some HOA or expect like they will have some HOA. So today I'm gonna give you some pro and some tips having an HOA and some benefits that you can get from HOA. And also not just benefits but you know some cons which is some problems maybe in the future for having HOA so if you are this kind of person or if you are eager to move here make sure you watch this video from the start until the end so you can get some good information about having an HOA all right but before I start this video if you're new to my channel welcome please subscribe if you haven't subscribed and the most important thing smash that like button for me and also share this video if you found this value and helpful especially for those people who's planning to move here in Central Florida or in Claremont that's my area all right so without further ado let's jump into it so i will give you like three cons and three pros having an hoa but before i do that i will explain to you what does hoa means first if you don't know the hoa the hoa means like homeowners association homeowners association or hoa what they do they have or they create this hoa to maintain a good community that's the summarize all right so i will give you like three pros for now and then after this i'll give you three cons for having an hoa so number one pro that i will give you for having an HOA is like as I said they maintain the community so if you have like an HOA number one that you think is you are safe in the community how do you say that you are safe in the community because some HOA here in Central Florida particularly here in Claremont where I am currently living some HOA that they are paying they have like a gated community which is means they are paying HOA to maintain the community especially if the community is really exclusive community they will have a gate community and sometimes they have a security guard 24 hours in that community that is only for your safety right especially if you want to live in a good community you want your safety safety first if you're looking for some safety i would say that pro for having hoa you can get that one so let's go to pro number two so pro number two the good thing here having hoa they can maintain the community in a good or outstanding community what do you mean about that rj so for example if your community located somewhere in the middle of central florida and then your community has a lot of like grass some pavement or even sometimes inside of the community they have some schools what does the HOA do they maintain the grass for you you know where you can walk in the community or sometimes if you have some playground in the community where your kids play around in the playground they will maintain that make sure that the community is clean the playground is clean this is another tip or another pros for having a HOA most of the time they will have like community pool and then they maintain that one for having an HOA so the good thing here is like if you have an HOA number one one is your security second is your maintenance maintenance on the surrounding or in the inside the community so that you know whatever they have or whatever the community has they will maintain it for you so make sure the community is outstanding if you know what i mean so the community is in a good state so does it make sense so that's why i put that in number two so let's go to pro number three or the last pro i'm gonna say about this hoa so the last thing about the hoa that i'm gonna talk about here is about solving some problem what do you mean about that again so solving some problem with if you have a HOA like for example if you're living to house A and you have a problem with the house B neighborhood what they can do you can report something into your HOA association or into your let's say HOA management that you have in problem to house B because this house B are doing something you don't like so what you can do is just report this house B to the management and then the management or the HOA will come over to resolve the problem for you but sometimes what happened was this is like a personal what happened here in our house some neighbor here basically where we're living right now she has some problem about us having like our grass growing so fast we have to cut them down what she did like she reported us to the HOA and the HOA came over and saying like your grass is coming up and then your neighbor are complaining about it so what we do or what we did is just like you know maintain it cut the grass to maintain it so you know to solve the problem 
problem. So something like that, so a small problem, big problem, the HOA can come over to resolve that problem for you, yeah. right? So that's the pro for the HOA and now I'll give you uh, three cons having a HOA. So number one list on my cons for having an HOA is a monthly payment. You have to pay a monthly payment to community, you know, so that they can maintain the community, right? Makes sense. So sometimes you pay monthly payment, sometimes quarterly payment, sometimes yearly payment. So it all depends on your agreement with the HOA. So to make sure before buying anything that you need to see the agreement with the HOA. So you are aware that you are going to follow the rules and regulation, which is my cons on this video, right? My cons number two is having a rules and regulation that you need to follow from HOA regulation or association, right? So I would say that is a cons because sometimes when you are planning to do something in your house, like outside your house, you want to paint something different. So you have to consult the HOA first and you need to get a permission from them to make sure that you are legal or they will allow you to do so whatever you want to do in your house. Like for example, if all your house or in your neighborhood, they have like same color houses, like let's say brown, that's the theme in the most neighborhood so you have to take some standard that you have to follow that but if you want to take like for example you want to paint your house like a yellow from brown obviously it's a light one you have to ask the HOA first before you do it otherwise you will be in trouble all right because you have signed the agreement that the HOA that you need to follow this sometimes a problem that I experienced not me personally but I found when you parking a commercial vehicle if you are working like a business and you have like a commercial business vehicle and then you park in your driveway and you have like advertisement there sometimes the HOA will pull you down for doing that they can say like this is not allowed in the HOA and we have the agreement so make sure that you always read your agreement before signing on anything on about HOA if you're happy about it go for it all right so that's the cons number two and now let's go to cons number three or my last cons for this video so my last cons for this video is about when you are paying HOA make sure you are paying on time because otherwise if you don't pay it your house could be in trouble your house could be in foreclosure what could happen is if you don't pay the HOA on a monthly quarterly or yearly payment whatever you sign on the agreement what the HOA do they could sue you let's say you didn't pay for at least three years and your HOA payment for a month for example only is like let's say hundred dollars or hundred bucks a month so if you times that in 12 that is like one thousand two hundred dollars a year if you times that in three that is three thousand six hundred for the past three years and you didn't pay for it and it, because it's just like you're so busy you forget about it and now your payment is gone big oh, right the no. HOA are not happy about it so what they can do about you or what can do about your house they could say like I don't like this homeowner they don't pay for at least three years you know how could they pay this amount of money three thousand six hundred dollars if you have money to pay for it pay for it but if you don't what they could do is just sue you or let's say they can put some lien in your house right if you don't know what the lien means i will give that in another video because i'm even gonna put what does the lien means here it's gonna be a long long video all right i really don't want that i just want to be short and straight to the point so that's the problem that they could put in your house so if you don't want any problem if you don't like any lien or if you don't want your house to be foreclosure make sure you pay your hoa either monthly quarterly or yearly and make sure you do that consistently because otherwise HOA won't be happy about you. So that's the pros and the cons for this video. If I miss something there, all you need to do is just comment down below. Let me know if you think something else about having a HOA or if you want to add more, feel free to comment down. I will add them on my second video so that we know having an HOA, the benefits and also the bad things about having HOA. So are you looking to buy a property here in Florida? Would you rather to have an HOA or no HOA? What is your answer? I would like to hear your answer. Comment down below thank you for watching this video if you watch this video until this end comment down below HOA so I can see how many people who watch this video until this end and I really appreciate that so much so yeah. once again I'm just gonna say it please subscribe in my channel if you haven't subscribed and also smash that like button for me if you found this value and share this video for those people who's trying to move here in Florida and of course if you want me to add another topic or if you want me to cover any topic regarding real estate comment down below you know comment everything in there and then i will do it 
for you especially for you so until next time i'm out for today peace having hoa uh what i'm gonna say uh <laughs> i forgot do it again <laughs>